Hey there, YouTubers. I'm Brian Liberator here, bringing you part four of my Dega Rapa playthrough. Uh, it was a free time, if I remember correctly, so let's see who I could hang out with. I got in a room. Psycho's room. I don't really have anything to talk to her about right now. Okay. Where's the. Uh, where is everyone? <laughs> ah, there you go. Hello, good Psycho. You see? Oh, Makoto, you wanted me? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, should I talk to Saika for a while? E I should have talked to her when I had a present on me. Oh, well. Might not level up, but... Ah. Oh, you want to talk for a bit? Sure, that sounds nice. I spent some time chatting with Saiga. Saiga and I grew a little closer today. Mm, I don't really have a present that she likes anyway. Or at least, I don't think I do. There's still lots of times left in the day. Lots of time. I really don't feel like the city here. Maybe I'll take a look around. Well, Psycho did it level up. She's here again! <laughs> I know how much you want to talk to me. So I'll talk to you. Since you're the closest around here to you. So yeah. <laughs> Out for a walk, Makoto? I wouldn't mind if you invited me a walk. <laughs> hmm, should I talk to Saraka? Well, yes. Let's go for a walk. I think it'll help cheer both of us up. I enjoyed a long, leisurely walk with Saika. Saika, I grew a little closer today. I think I leveled her up. Like I said, I don't have any presents though. I feel bad. Listen, may I ask you just one question? So polite again, what's going on? Um, I'm so polite again, I'd like to ask. Do you have a girlfriend? Oh, it's that type of question. <laughs> what? That's like way out of nowhere. Um, huh? Are you embarrassed? Does that mean you do? No, I don't have a girlfriend. Not at all. Um, listen. Then do you at least have a crush on someone? Just wait a second. What's going on here? Why are you asking all these questions? <laughs> just curious so I thought I'd ask is that bad it's not that it's bad I but it's only natural I'd be curious right because we're we're <laughs> because we're classmates going through the same thing together classmates But, although that 
That's not all there is to it. You and I are more than just classmates. More than that? Ooh, okay. <laughs> We're friends. We've been friends since middle school in a way. Still feels like if he's being friends now. <laughs> Uh, that's true. Yeah, we're friends, of course. Uh, um. So, aren't you gonna ask me? Ooh, hint it. Oh, uh, what? Um, listen. N no, not what. Aren't you gonna ask if I have a boyfriend or not? Ew. Okay. I mean, it's not like I don't want to know, of course. I want to know. You're really popular, right? So I wouldn't be surprised if you did. Oh, no! No, I definitely don't. The truth is, I'm way too busy for things like that. Then... Do you have a crush on someone? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. Let's just say there's someone I'm interested in. Psycho stared straight into my eyes. I could swear her cheeks were tin tinged with red. Wait, me? But. But I need to put those feelings aside for now. Getting out of here is all that matters. Yeah, you're right. Hey, um... Let's get out of here together, Makoto, no matter what. Please, don't turn your back on me, okay? Of course, I would never turn my back on you. Uh, um... I want you to know something, Makoto. And I want you to know that I mean it. I can't fake my feelings. That's good. Glad you're here. When she smiled at me like that, I could feel my entire body filling with my with power. It was like her smile with a source of pure energy. My friendship with her is my one source of courage. My bond with her makes me feel stronger. So I have to do my best in here. For myself and for Sayaka. <laughs> I'm so happy you're going to do your best for me. What? You heard me? Like I said, I'm like psychic. Said, psychic. What she said. While well, I was saying it. Okay. Kidding. I just have really good intuition. Um... thinking um well anyway let's just help each other out and get out of here no matter what it takes I gotta do my best for sure okay yeah you're right we need to work together and do our best I gotta do my best. I carved those words into the walls of my soul. Yay! After bowing to Saika to give it my all, I went back into my room. Announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone.
Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. I wonder how people could actually have sweet dreams <laughs> in a place like that. <laughs> the third day here has already come to an end. When will we? I mean, when will I know we? When are we gonna get out of here? I laid on my bed and started blank, stared blankly at the, seer, the ceiling. Yeah. And before I knew it, I'd fallen into an uneasy sleep. acting pick me up if it does the act now it's the same as give me in to regret what do you think guides the world speed of course that's why formula one drivers are so popular any idiot can accomplish anything if they take it slow hearing a human piece of Big Screepmit could create a masterpiece if they spent their entire life on it. Someone who does things in a timely fashion is both wise and admirable. Straight is better than a curve or an angle. Freestyle is better than the backstroke or breaststroke. Drive through is better than sit down. A Sunday comic artist is smarter than a graphic novelist. What I'm saying is, speed is the gold standard of the standard world. Which is why I said I need that pick-me-up. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. I woke up to the irritating sound of Monokuma's voice. I slowly pulled myself out of bed. <sighs> another night of restless sleep. Day after day, I can feel the fatigue piling up. As soon as the thought had crossed my mind, the sound of the doorbell forced its way into my room. Hey! A fantastic morning, isn't it? Uh, that's something you don't see every day. Taka? Hmm. Now then, if you'll pardon the interruption. Without waiting for a reply, talk a barge into my room. What's up, Taka? <laughs> no matter how intensely the stormy seas may batter me, I will not fall as long as my feet are firmly planted. You agree, right? Not sure I understand. Without a doubt. And if you can't do it alone, just find someone to support you and you can support them back. You hear me? That's how you could overcome any storm. Mm. Mm. I was thinking about it last night and I decided we all need to really come together. And that was when I realized Every morning from now on, after the morning announcement, everyone should have breakfast together. Quiet down and listen! And now is the beginning of that faithful day. Please, head to the dining hall at your earliest convenience. Got it! That's all for now. I have to go let everyone else know the good news. 
Taka didn't even wait for a reply. He turned and left before I could say anything. Well, I guess I'd better head to the dining hall. Of course, I'm leaving. To the dining hall now. So yeah, this is supposed to be a road to V3. They give up at V3, but... Probably not going to make it before it comes out. Anything, I will be doing the blind V3 playthrough. As soon as I can, after it comes out. And if there's no problems. I'll do it on the day it comes out. <laughs> Listen to me! Okay, looks like everyone's here. So then, let's begin our very first breakfast meeting. Quiet down and listen! Everyone, thank you for making time in your busy schedules to come together. Give me a break. Didn't make time. You dragged me here. Hmm. I know, I already mentioned this earlier, but... In order to get out of here, it is essential that we all cooperate with each other. And the first step is this breakfast meeting to allow us to become friends and build trust. So from now on, let's all meet here in the dining hall every morning after the morning announcement. Now then, let's eat! <laughs> you want me to eat breakfast with other pe people? I've never done that b before. I'm not sure. I mean, seriously? Yeah, it's been a while for me too. But more important, well, anyway, did anyone f happen to f come up with any clues? They wanted to say fine a lot. Silence echoed throughout the dining hall. Seriously? Seriously? Nothing at all? Hey! Anything. It could be about how to get out or who's doing this. Nobody has anything. Are you okay with this? You are going to die. Huh? Huh? Do you understand? If you can't sh stop yourself from showing weakness in front of others, you will die. What the heck? Don't you be a freaking joke about that. <laughs> I'm not joking. Adaptability is survivability. Did I not say so? So you better hurry up and adopt to your new life here. What the hell is this? Have you gone completely insane? Adapt to my new life here? Do you have any idea what you're saying? What? What? Yeah, sounds like the girl wants to live here and heck, more power to her. But dang. Piece of shit! No way in heck am I living here. I'm getting out of here, I don't care. <laughs> Sure, feel free. Huh. Uh. Okay, so uh, nobody has any clues. What the heck? One thing I could tell you is who's behind all this. Someone who's totally weird and messed up.
Why else would we be trapped in here in the first place? Hey, listen. Well, sure, it could be something like that, but for right now, actual clues are... Uh, um... Um... Huh? Huh? What's up? Um... If you think in terms of people who are really abnormal or bizarre... Do you think maybe the person responsible for all this could be a certain murderous fiend? A certain murderous fiend? A murderous fiend, Shihiro, do you have some idea who might be behind all this? Mm. Well, maybe, I mean, I can't really be certain, but... Got it! Certainly is not a concern right now. I'll allow whatever remarks you may have. You know? Okay, well... Have you guys heard of Genocide Jack? You mean that serial killer that's been on the news and all over the internet? The monstrous villain who's murdered scores of victims in a brutally bizarre fashion. The word blood loss was left at each murder scene written in the victim's own blood. Whoever it is, he's like a ghost. He strikes without warning and disappears without a trace. And on the internet, they started calling him Genocide Jack. That about covers it, I think. <sighs> they say he's claimed over a thousand victims. Hmm. That's just an urban legend though, right? I mean, even like 10 people would be totally insane. Hmm. Anyway, whoever generates Genocide Jack really is, He's obviously some kind of super crazy killer. Huh? And if he really is this ultimate psycho, I wouldn't be surprised if he put together something like this. But... But like I said, I can't be certain. I don't have any evidence or anything, it's just a thought. Hey, hold on! But if they're the killer, isn't that like a killer of a problem for us? Yeah! It's okay, everything's absolutely, positively, 100% without a doubt going to be okay. Cause help's going to be here soon, I'm sure of it. Huh? Help? Cause, I mean... We've been stuck here a few days already, right? Nobody's been able to contact us, so I'm sure they're getting worried. I bet they've called the police already. <laughs> What's this? The police? You're putting your faith in the police? Bastard! What are you doing here? You guys? You guys seriously? Do you understand what role the police exists to fill? All they're good for is being a foil, playing against a villain or anti-hero or evil organization. The bad guys come along and destroy them, and that shows us how awesome they really are. <laughs> Are you sure you want to rely on such an unreliable group of losers? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on, if you really, really want to get out of here, all you gotta do is kill. <laughs> what the hell? Why the heck are you laughing? You know? I'm just impressed at the total commitment to this whole act. Come on. Still going on about that? You're fucking dead. 
So, Mr. Serial Killer Freak, Psycho Freak, what the heck do you want? Mr. Serial Killer, Mr. Serial Killer, Psycho Freak, huh? That's a pretty long name, German maybe? Hey, come on! You know who you really are? Maybe if I ignore him, he'll just go away. You son of a bitch! Hey, don't ignore me. Hmm. Okay, okay, let's get back to business. Your life here has already begun, and a couple of days have gone by, and nobody's killing anybody. I thought all you kids were lazy and selfish, and here you are working together, but I'm totally bored. There's nothing you could say that will make us start killing each other. I got it! Wait, I think... Yes, ding ding ding! I figured it out! In other words... All the mystery ingredients are here, right people? Right place? So why has anyone killed anyone yet? That's what I couldn't understand, but I just realized there was one very important piece missing. What are you? If you want to know, I'll tell you it's motive. It's so simple. I just have to give everyone a motive. Stop fucking around. Motive? What the heck are you talking about? Hey, um... Oh, by the way, there's something I want to show you guys. You son of a bitch! Stop changing the subject. Hmm. I have a little video I'd like you all to see. Ooh, how exciting! Oh, but don't worry. It's not some pervy adult video or anything. Seriously, it's nothing like that. It's a special video for each of you showing what's going on outside of the school. Outside the school? What are you talking about? Hello. <laughs> oh, Master's so impatient today. Why don't you just watch it and find out? Hmm. Here in the school, there's a specific place you can go that has everything you need to watch the video. Correct. Good thing, we can go watch the video right now. But before we do that, I'd like to know... What are you? Why would you do something like this? What do you want from us? Hmm? What do I want from you? Well, if you must know... Despair. That's all. Oh, that's putting it bluntly. <laughs> well, now! If you want to know more than that, you'll have to figure it out yourselves. Do whatever you need to to uncover the mystery hidden within the school. I won't try to stop you. <laughs> Cause to be honest, it's entertaining as heck watching you guys search so desperately for answers. <laughs> so I guess I want amusement from you too. Um, he's gone. Once again, he left before we could find out anything useful. Is that right? Really? I think we learned something very useful. He has no intention of standing in the way of our pursuit of the truth. Interesting. However... Perhaps. But what about the video he mentioned? I'm very curious to see what's on it. That's true. Same here. Okay, so... Wanda stared glancing around the dining hall. Started glancing around the dining hall. 
But when his gaze landed on me, he stopped. Hell yeah! Hey, Makoto, check this out for us, would you? Huh? Why me? Yo! Cause you're closest to the door, that's the rule, right? Rule? Jesus Christ! Hey, hey... Piece of shit! Hey! Stop fucking around! You see how passionately I'm begging you? What's the big deal? Just check it out real quick! Okay, I guess I'll get going then. Hell yeah! Awesome, thanks. I owe you one. Hey, um... If Makoto's going, I'm going with him. It's not safe to walk around this place alone. Yo! Yeah, sure thing. Then we're counting on the both of you. If anything happens, just yell and I'll come running. Um. I can't decide if Mondo is totally dependable or completely terrible. Yeah, I'd have to say he's kind of both. He's not exactly a bad person, but I definitely can't say he's a good person either. So then, where's this specific place Monokuma mentioned? It must be somewhere you can watch DVDs, but... It's a place set up to watch DVDs and... I saw that in the map, somewhere. There you go. Run! Pass it. There you are. Huh? There's something inside this cardboard box. It's uh, a bunch of DVDs. And each one of them has a label on it. This must be the video for each of us you mentioned. Hold on a second. I better go tell everyone. She just ran off. I didn't follow after her. I just stood right there where I was. The DVDs in front of me had robbed me of all awareness. I was rooted in place. I think I see something. monitors a high-end DVD player. It'll probably play those DVDs no problem. Maybe I'll just watch mine real quick before everyone else gets here. I sorted through the DVDs I found in the box and found the one with my name on it. Then I slid it into the expensive looking player, sat down and stared intensely intently at the darkened screen, and then... <gasps> I yelled out without realizing it, and my heart started racing. Because what I saw on that monitor, it was my family. You getting picked to attend Hope's Peak Academy is like a dream come true. Make sure you do your best. I'm so proud of you, son. But remember, don't push yourself too hard. Are you really watching this, Makoto? Good luck, okay? If it had ended there, that would have been fine. A message of love and support. After leaving my family behind to attend Hope's Peak, it would have been giving me hope, giving me strength. This was a normal school, I would have been happy, but a little... If a little embarrassed. With my family's support to rely on, I would have been motivated to do even better. But here, now it was totally different. It wasn't living an ordinary school life. So I had a pretty strong feeling that the video wasn't going to end there. 
I hated having that feeling, but it turned out I was absolutely right. This time I couldn't even make a sound. My voice just died. Where'd everyone go? It looks like a war zone or something. As if in reply, a voice came floating out of the speakers. I recognized the voice, of course. It was him. Makoto Naegi accepted into Hope Geek Academy and his family who supported such a lucky boy. But it seems like something's happened to this family's well-being. Oh boy, this is bad. What could have possibly happened to this family's well-being? What is this? What happened to everyone? I started trembling. I could feel the fear and anger building up inside of me like hot magma. God dang it! I slapped my fist against the desk over and over again. A single thought was racing through my mind. What else? How could I think about anything else? I have to get out of here. I have to get out right now. I need to make sure everyone's safe. Makoto? What happened? Make sure, make sure he's safe. I notice everyone standing around the entrance to the AV room. They stared at me, faces full of confusion. Um, what's going on? Without a word, I pointed to the cardboard box. Is it like? Is that what Monokuma was talking about? What does this mean? What's on them? They all gathered around the box, and each of them grabbed a DVD with their name on it. One by one, they each rushed to a monitor. It didn't take long for them to react. What the? What the heck? Huh? This can't be real, right? It has to be fake, right? Hey, hold on! Yeah, no way this is real. <laughs> no way. <clears throat> I can't... To take it anymore. I can't take this anymore. Get me out of here. As soon as I saw their reaction, I knew they'd all seen something like what I'd seen. Nobody even bothered trying to hide their fear and confusion. Except for her. Even now, she was totally calm. I see. So this is what he meant by motive. He wants to feel our desire to leave. So that we're more likely to start killing each other. Yes, indeed. It is the classic prisoner's dilemma. Hmm? Huh? Hmm. Let me use an example. Imagine two countries are on the brink of war. But both countries want, want peace. And each commits to scaling back their forces as a sign of good faith. But there's a chance that one country may betray the other. So each country fears lowering their guard. The result is that neither scales back their forces and they end, both end up betraying each other. Do you understand? In other words, the fear of invisible treachery becomes the greatest enemy of stability. <laughs> that kind of sounds like us right now. Everyone says to work together, but in our hearts we're all afraid someone might betray us. <laughs> Don't put those awful thoughts in our heads. That's exactly what they want us to do. Huh? You could say that, but maybe you're thinking that once everyone drops their guard, you can just... What, what is this? What? Hey. 
This is exactly what Monokuma or whoever's behind this wants. They want us to fight, don't you see? Yeah, you're right. We all need to calm down. So then. Okay then. Maybe we should start by all just talking. Maybe if we all just talk about what we saw, that will help every get everything out of our system. Besides, I think we're all super curious, right? I wonder what was on everyone's video. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious. Hey, Sayaka. What was in your video, Sayaka? What's your problem? What's wrong? Just hurry up and t tell us. Saika? I gently placed my hand on her shoulder. Stop it! She pushed my hand away and suddenly ran off. Saika? That's enough. Let her go. I can't do that. I have to go make sure she's okay. <laughs> I hate romantic comedies like this. I don't care what happened to her personally. What? That's because you're totally thoughtless. Um... I'm really worried. <sighs> then why don't you go do whatever you think you have to do? We don't all have to stick around together, right? I hope you are well. Speaking of which, I have my own thing to take care of. Goodbye. Everyone went their separate ways, but I don't have time to worry about them right now. I have to find Sa Sakia. <laughs> Could she have gone? She can't have gone far. I should check around the school. Okay, where did she go? Yeah. Couldn't have went back to her room, could she? If Celeste knows where she is, or... Yeah, it would be totally convenient if she went back to her room. Maybe Saika's in her room. Saika? No answer, I guess I uh, have to keep looking. Uh, well, I did ki skip the kitchen to be there. I mean, this is probably the second most likely place where she could have been. Yeah, I doubt this place. Uh, it was nice to check. Oh, wait a minute. Don't tell me. I went into the wrong room. Saika's not the type to go into someone's rooms without permission. I should go look somewhere else. Okay, yeah, I guess so. You seen her? What? It's on your video, Mondo, huh? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's not that big of a deal. Ugh, shit. It was fake anyway, it had to be. Whoever's doing all this pulled it out of his butt. Stop fucking around! Yeah, that's gotta be it. Those buttholes can't fool me.
shit. For crying out loud. Don't tell me she's like at the gym or something. She a good hider. She is at the gym. Most likely. Oh gosh, I need to sneeze. It will sneeze. I just want. <coughs> I coughed instead. See, see, you're in a classroom and then the music is not there anymore. Just an ear. I found her in the one corner of an empty classroom. She was sitting on a chair, hands on her knees, staring absently at the floor. She looked like maybe she was upset or angry, or no. She didn't have any expression at all. There was nothing on her face that you could call emotion. It was as if her original mask had been stripped away. Saika, are you okay? <gasps> Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, maybe I swim it like... It cracked, there you go. Actually, no. How could I possibly find... Ah! Ah! What did we do to end up like this? Why are they doing such terrible things to us? I want Why? out! Let me out of here right now! Saika, calm down. As she thrashed around, I grabbed her by the shoulders. Huh? I understand. I know how you feel right now. When I think what might have happened with, to my family. But now, more than ever, I have to stay calm. This is exactly what they want. They want us to lose our composure and stop thinking rationally. Think about it. Those videos have to be fake. Because of those things, if those things really had happened, people out there would be in an uproar. Our families, the police, everyone. Right? So let's just calm down, okay? Otherwise, we've already lost. I knew I was trying to convince myself just as much as her. I kept repeating those words to myself to clear away the images that had been burned into my brain. Be calm, okay? Just be calm. As long as we work together, I'm sure we could find some way out of here. And help my evening come before that. What if there isn't any way out? What if help never comes? If that happens, then I'll get you out of here myself, no matter what it takes. When I said that, I paused. I had no idea what had come over me. Sayaka? Please, help me! Her voice was small and shaky. Why? Why is this happening to me? To kill or be killed? I just can't take this anymore! Sayaka. <laughs> Finally, she raised her face up from my chest. She looked at me with those big eyes. Uh, those big wet eyes of hers. Makoto! Can I... Can I believe what you said? Huh? That you'll help me out? No matter what it takes? Absolutely. Makoto! Makoto, you're the only one I could trust. So please, no matter what happens, no. please always be there for me. I need you on my side. <laughs> I almost read that. 
Huh? Of course I'll be there for you. No matter what, I'm always on your side. I mean, you are my assistant after all. Lakota. Thank you, Makoto. Hearing you say that, I could I feel like I could keep going. I I could get through this as long as you're here with me. Cause I'm your assistant! Like you said, I'm your assistant. The smile I come to know so well returned to her face. It felt a little forced, but still. It was a huge improvement over how she was before. Hey! Hey! It's standing up! Ah! <laughs> oh, oh, oh my. <laughs> he just has to mention that. <laughs> Come on! Do you even have to ask? Disgusting. You're black pole. <laughs> Get the heck out of here. Just a minute. No, no. I want to join in. Oh. Then tell us what the heck is up with those videos. <gasps> it's about to come out. It's gonna come out. Uh, I'm not gonna read that though. <laughs> yeah My stuffy. There you go. That's That's the way I'm gonna read it. <laughs> fish, took aim, and swung as hard as I could. I had never put so much energy into a single motion before in my life. I leaned back, channeling all my power, and let go with everything I had. Are you okay? If I had avoided your punch, you would have just violated school regulations. Hey! Oh boy, are you slow, 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 slow! Yeah. I could have drowned a thousand dollar full course dinner in the time you took to finish your stream. Swing. Your speed, agility, alertness, patness, boldness, sense of despair, antagonism. It's all working! Um... What the heck was that just now? You just wanted to mess uh, with us. Um, well, for now, you uh, want to just head back? Yeah. Atakuma had come along and swiftly destroyed the good mood we just created. Saika and I headed back to the dorm. You should get some rest, Laika. You still look pretty sorry. shaken. I'm sorry for making you worry about me. You're right. I gotta lay down for a bit. With a nod and a small bow, she disappeared into her room. Now on my own, I headed off to tell everyone that Saika was okay. Once that was done, I decided to go back to my room. It was hard to think after watching that deranged video, I needed some rest of my own. Jeez, seriously, what's going on here? There's just so many problems. I can't even decide what the biggest problem is that we're trapped in here. 
that what I saw in that video might be real? Monokuma? What the mastermind has in store for us? Or are we our biggest problem? I want to get out of here, but I could never kill someone. Do the others all feel the same? Yeah, that's definitely the biggest problem right now. Oh, sure. Yeah, I was acting a little bit. I'm not sure about the sex jokes. <laughs> I'm done. Sorry about that. That was my fun. Huh? When I opened my eyes, they darted immediately to the clock. It's almost 10 o'clock. I fell asleep without even realizing it. I think it's about to start. So how could someone's here? Sorry. I'm really sorry. To come back so late. To come by so late. Sayaka? Sayaka, what are you doing out so late? That's when I noticed her body was trembling. Is everything okay? So strange! Sorry to bother you, but something really weird just happened. <laughs> something weird? Oh, no. Just a little while ago, I was laying down on my room. All of a sudden, my door started rattling and shaking. Um, I'm pretty sure Sayaka is supposed to be saying this. Um, well then. Her voice sounded like all the air had been squeezed out of her lungs. Oh, wait a minute, was that text blue? Ah, okay. Just hearing her talk made me tense up. I was up. so scared! It was like someone was trying to force the door open. My door was locked, so they couldn't get in, of course. But they started shaking the door harder and harder. So I was so scared I couldn't even move. So what happened? After a while it just stopped. I let some time go by, then I got up and opened the door to check outside. Lakota. But there was nobody there. Someone tried to force their way into your room? But who would do something like that? It's not like I'm suspicious of anyone here, but still, it makes me nervous. What if something like that happened in the middle of the night? What would I do then? You don't have to worry about that, right? Uh, but, okay. I mean, we can't go outside during but, night time. But that's just a promise we made, right? If someone decided to break that promise... Then... Why don't you stay in my room tonight? Would that make you feel a little better? Huh? What? All it said in the school regulations was that we had to sleep in the dorm rooms, right? It didn't state specifically which room each person had to sleep in, so... Hey, um... But two people sharing one room is... You know... Ah... Oh 
Jeez, I'm sorry, I didn't even think about that. Honestly, that didn't even cross my mind. Um, no, I'm. I know, me either. It's just not even that I mind the idea, but. Um, if you don't mind, can we maybe switch rooms for tonight? Switch rooms? If it'll help put your mind at ease, then it's totally fine with me. But I don't mind you staying in my room. But... Are you sure you're gonna be okay with me staying in yours? That doesn't, like, concern you? <laughs> That's fine. I trust you. In that case, then... 90-90 time! <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night. Sleep tight! Don't let the bed bug fight! Oh. oh man, it's already night time! Okay, it's settled. I'll head to your room right now. Oh, if we're gonna trade rooms, we better trade keys too. Ah, oh, that's right! We'll have to trade keys! Again? Like I said, I'm psychic! Huh? Hey, aren't you gonna say you were just kidding? <laughs> what if I wasn't just kidding? Something resembling a smile had made its way to her face. Thank goodness, it looks like she's already started to get back to normal. Okay, we better trade keys in. Okay. Yep, let's do it. We exchanged keys and when I looked back up at her again, there was another worry expression. Um, Makoto, please be careful. If someone comes to the door, don't open it no matter what. I won't. Same goes for you, Sayaka. No more no matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even if I sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Oh, by the way, just so you know, my bathroom door tends to get stuck. There's a little trick to opening it. You have to turn the knob, then lift up the door while you pull it out. Just do that and the door should open no problem. Okay, but the showers don't work during night time anyway, right? Oh, that's right, I totally forgot. <laughs> but I guess I might use it when I get up in the morning, so thank you. Okay, well, I better get going. See you tomorrow, Saika. Hey, um, oh, and about what I said before... Hmm? <laughs> When I said I was psychic, it really was just a joke. Honestly, I'm just very perceptive. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Good night then. See you in the morning. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Saika gave me one last parting smile and I headed off to my room. That's funny. Not on the game, but something else. I looked around as soon as I got out into the hall. Everyone else's doors were closed. There was no sign of life. 
Good, there's nobody here. Making sure nobody was around to spot me, I rushed into Saika's room. So this is Saika's room. It really doesn't look any different from mine. It smells nice though. That's the end of part four of Danganronpa. Um, if you guys haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. And hold on while I put the title. said that I was logging out yet, so, um, yeah, um, I say, whenever V3 comes out and whenever it's allowed on YouTube, I will definitely play it. Even if I have to like be playing Dang Rumpa 1 or 2, whichever. Well, I'm playing Dang Rumpa V3. I finished editing the titles. So, that is it for my playthrough, guys. Avion Liberator is signing out. <laughs>